back, everybody. This is Lady Dust, and we're picking up right where we left off. About to check this room. Okay, we're fine. Now, it's locked. Oh, it's been bolted, so we can't even bother going in there. All right. Okay, let me see. That's locked, that's locked. That's locked, that's locked. But there was that farver key I wanted to test on that room back there, so I'm just going to run over there and I'm going to take care of that. Hey, if that doesn't work, I guess I'll go back to the Chinese puzzle room. Wait. Oh, wait, no, this is the wrong room. Oh, sorry. Anyway, as I was saying, if, wait. I'm always getting off on a tangent here. Oh, okay. Sorry, I just... My brain is kerfuffled, if that's a word. I'm gonna go back to the Farber room. You know what, I doubt that key would work, though, because she says the house key... The key does say Farber, though, so, like, I, I'm intended... I'm inclined to at least try it, you know? So... Let me just, uh, run upstairs. I'll try it out. And if it doesn't work, then I'll have to figure out that, uh, Chinese puzzle, as, uh, Erica said. Okay. This one. Yes. Oh, it did work! Let's listen. See, I'm glad I tried that. Oh. Hi. My hair is standing on end. Something... Something is very wrong here. Was it the voodoo things hanging from the ceiling or the shattered mirror? To me, it was the weird things on the ceiling. Coats, hats, and scarf. Coat rack is full. Too full for someone who's supposedly out and about. There's a set of keys and a pair of glasses. It's all, almost as if Barbara were back home. I have a feeling this place is empty. Alright, listen. Okay. This room's fine. Alright, let's listen to this one. Okay, this room's also fine. We are in a bedroom. Oh, great, a Ouija board. In a Ouija board, Farber must have... Farber has tried absolutely everything he can think of. Sorry about that, that's just my phone. It's charging under the desk. A bottle in the Bible. Farber must have been desperate. A broken mirror. I wonder what kind of thing Farber has seen as a reflection. Apparently a grotesque version of himself. An open closet I'd probably fit inside if I need to hide. Good to know that's there. Books on witchcraft, Wicca, and other religions. I wonder if Farber even knows what he's looking for. Uh, no, not this one. I want that. Oh, uh, recording two of Isaac Farber. Voice recording and deep dealer. Okay, let's play. Pasha. 
heart has remained beating the whole time I've been alive. Not everyone can say that. Just relax, Sophie. You, by the end of this, will be a professional breather, too. Just don't. We don't look at the scary things, remember? They aren't nice. See? Isn't that better? You are absolutely insane for still trying to figure this out. I'm not listening to that again. Okay, I think at this point you should probably know you're either A, hallucinating, B, on some sort of weird drugs, or both in that case. C, a ghost is haunting you. Or D, you're being slowly driven mad by your ex. Huh. It looks like Forever burned something on the bed. God, he could have burnt down the whole house. What on earth could he have burnt? I wonder what the wooden figurines are supposed to protect you from. What's this? Mm -hmm. A circle piece. A wooden circle piece of a card decorated. Dick, dick, whatever. Screw cap? It's a screw cap underneath, I guess it's a... It has a screw underneath? I guess it must be part of a bigger something? I don't know. Hmm. A romantic painting, not your usual historical theme, but rather something more sinister. Photo albums, the family portrait next to works on religion's history. This is so sad. Pills and pills and a bottle have empty. The sight brings back bitter memories. Oh yeah, there was uh back at the house, Marsa was trying to take pills. Sleeping pills, because she couldn't sleep at night because of the freaking monsters. Okay. Well now that that nightmare's over, let's move on to the next one, shall we? No nightmare. Okay. I'm gonna assume you're the bathroom. Oh no, you're the photo development room. An old folding camera. That, what a gem, if it still works, that is. Uh, let's see these pictures. Ooh, looks like a, a figure. Oh wow, that, that first one on the upper left-hand side is very creepy. Oh, the one on the lower side. Oh. God, in the closet, too. Oh, no, that's the door. Oh, God, these things are unsettling. Uh, what's this? My tray of bottles ready for mixing. I wish I knew more about chemistry. Oh, now they're coming out of the walls. A shadow, but there's nobody there. Oh, now they're in the curtains. Oh, God, even more faces. Film developing products in several drawing pictures. Looks like Farber is into photography. Huh. Uh, I think I'll need more ingredients if I want to mix anything. Okay, so we gotta come back here to mix things. Oh yeah, we already saw those. Yeah, these photos are scary, man. I don't blame Farber for being freaked out. I'd be freaked out too if I sell that on my camera. I don't really believe in like the paranormal, but hell, if you show me, if I take a picture and I get those, look at the picture later and I see that that stuff, forget it. I don't care if I don't believe. I am not taking a risk. Okay, this one might be. Oh yeah, this is the bathroom. Broken mirror. Surprise, surprise. A shattered mirror. It's odd. It's almost as if it's been broken from behind. That is weird. Uh, an old bathtub that's dripping from the faucet makes me nervous. Doesn't seem to be anything else in this room. Okay. Let's move on. Farber family photos. Isaac and his daughter Erica must be pretty close. Aww. And he's probably dead now. Or lost in some sort of alternate dimension, which is even worse. So that means he's not really dead, he's just suffering. A second bathroom. Uh, doesn't really seem to be anything I could take or is interactable in here, but... Barbara keeps some photos here. I see several of a young woman, but they seem old. Well, that might be his wife. Or maybe not wife, just the mother of his child. Don't really know about that story, do we? Okay, I'm assuming this has to be Erica's room, right? Mr. Farber? Hello? Uh, 
Mm -mm. There must have some kind of latch on the inside. It's really weird. Okay, I can't even, like, try to pry it open, it would seem. Okay, well, let's keep walking. There was a- <laughs> what the- what the- oh, oh, oh god! Oh god, those are nooses! Those are nooses! I don't want to be in here anymore. I don't want to be anymore. I- I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay. Okay. Got one last room to check. Okay, listen first. Okay. Um, okay, what's the deal with this? The lamp is an ultraviolet light bulb. What is it? What is it showing? Gotta get around this way, I guess, to see it. No. The shelf is full of novels, mostly historical fiction. I've actually read some of them. What the? Hmm. Why did I unplug it? What did that accomplish? Well, now I can see it, I guess? The painting is hideous. I'd say it's 20th century. Nothing valuable. What's Farber doing with something like this? That is an ugly picture, I have to say. An upright piano. You can tell it's been used, but well taken care of. Seeing the, that chessboard brought back memories of the Seventh Seal and gave me shivers. Never heard of that book, movie, or whatever. Looks like someone was reading the morning paper on the sofa, but it's a month old. What's this one? This is the third letter. Dear Isaac, I hope you're feeling better, or at least a bit more calm. I know who made the box. He died years ago. His name was Argos Legrand. As soon as I find out more, I will let you know. I believe the key lies in returning the box. If you have a list from the auction at which you purchased it, you can surely locate the former owner. I think things have improved since I sent it back to you. Yes, I'm positive. I hope everything is going well, Sebastian P. Husher. Things did not go well for you. You went missing, and so did your family, and I saw them as ghost monsters. And in fact, two of them killed me. My teapot said the cups are covered in a fine layer of dust. Photos of a woman, probably Mrs. Farber, seems very happy. Seeing a chest... Oh, yeah, I did that. Uh, doesn't really seem to be much else in here, besides the weird photo. Okay, let's listen again. Okay, this sounds fine. Maybe this is Erica's room. No, it's the kitchen, it would seem. There's a pile of dishes in the sink. I'd say someone washed them, but now they're covered in dust. There's coffee for several people, but it seems it never they never got around to drinking it. <clears throat> Dear daughter, I have uh, tried to arrange the keys for you. The ones on the right hand column are the old keys. I only keep them just in case. The colored metal keys are for the security door to the shop and the locks. The square gold keys and the black black plastic keys are for the devices of the apparatus of the shop. The round and triangular silver keys are the copies you made for the old display cases. The round green plastic keys is for your motorcycle, and the red plastic key is for the safe. The small gold key is for the little box with your mother's things. The other three are for the storage rooms and the warehouse where we keep uh, lots of antiques. Dad. Thanks for nothing, Daddy. Oh, that's funny. That's uh, Erica's handwriting on the bottom. God, like you couldn't just like outright say that these keys were the ones. You have to like list off what all the other keys were first. Pet food? A box of dead cockroaches? What? Mm -hmm. I can't think of any insectivorous pets, but this is what they kind of food they eat. I don't know, a, a spider? A snake? That's just weird. The ashtray is full to the brim, and the fags look recent. Farber must really be losing it. Alright. Well, that's what I got out of this room. God, please don't be nooses again. Okay. Can I, like, turn back on that light for this? Because I, I feel like turning it off was bad. Oh no, I got the bulb. Hmm, it's an ultraviolet light. 
It's just a regular bulb that emits a black light, that is. Um, okay. We get to keep the bulb. I think that's everything I can really do in this place. Got the puzzle there, but I think I'm going to need more ingredients if I want that to work. And what do I have in my inventory now? Got a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, ultraviolet light, wrench, screw cap, no idea what that could be for. Uh, let's, uh, go back to the map here. What were some puzzles that I could do? Um, the coal tar puzzle was one of them. Maybe I could try putting the cap in that thing. And there was the room in the exhibit room. Uh... No, it doesn't really seem to be much else besides those two things. You know what, why don't we go back to the uh, art room, or photo room, and see if uh, the, the nooses, the nooses, I don't like them. Why don't we just see if maybe the ultraviolet bulb can be of some use? No? Okay. It was worth a shot to try. Okay, let's get out of this creepy apartment. And let's go to that, uh, I don't like it in here. The art gallery room with the, uh, Chinese puzzle to it, and I'll see if I can figure it out. Okay, oh, not again. Okay, we got this. We got this. Okay, we're cool. You're cool. Why are you do that? It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. We are cool. Ah, ah, see, see, see. We are still cool. cool. Not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Not. Now we're cool. Totally cool. I'm not even looking at the freaking monster. It's my bad. I'm sorry. Go away, please. When you physically see something like that, you should leave. What a horrific thing. You are too nonchalant about this, girl. Way too nonchalant. Okay. I guess I'll see you guys when we get to the puzzle, unless, of course, something else comes across me along the way. Which, let's face it, it might happen. Let's see if we can put that thing in the coal tar machine. It's funny if it actually worked. No, okay. It was worth a shot to try. Okay, let's take a look at the computer screen, though, before we, uh, even bother to go in. Okay, it, it seems fine. Hmm. Just a showroom. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can't figure out that puzzle. Okay. I'll let you guys know when I do, because I have a feeling this is gonna take me a while. Alright, I'm like, really, really confused. I have no idea what this puzzle could be. Uh, is there anything else I could be messing with? Uh, that's locked. Either locked. There's the dark room puzzle that I can't do. Can't get into that room. Just can't get into those rooms. That's locked. Huh. Okay. I'm gonna just, I guess, explore around until I figure something out. See you soon. God, what is happening? I don't know. I don't know. I want to leave, please. Damn it. What the hell is going on? Yeah, I know. I'm trying. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, come on. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I don't know how to leave. Oh. Things stop shaking. What the hell was that all about? God, don't you just hate it in games when you're on a roll, and then all of a sudden you just hit a dead end like this and you have no idea what to do?
Huh, I didn't look at the haikus yet. The crawling ones listen behind the mirror. Don't let them out. Searching for the glow, warrior cage rain, and one down below. I wonder if these are all clues that could help me. Kinda doubt it. Okay, that one's on me, I should have checked. Okay, so I hate to say it, I looked up the answer to the code in this room, and let me just say, it is a little stupidly complex. What you have to do, something that I did, is that you add up the numbers. You know, like how the answer was like 14 and uh, 11? You just gotta like add them up. And I put them in, and I tried a various amount of letters to see if I could figure it out. It's not that at all. Like, you have to convert them into the letters, and then you gotta make them into, convert them into the numbers. Like, it's, it's dumb. It, 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 it's, it, that, that's just dumb. That's not clever, that's just dumb. Like, there was no hint that something like that was going to be, a, like, it's an extra step that already was too complex. Like, I would never have gotten it with that. Like, if the internet didn't exist, I would never have gotten this. Yeah, and game developers, you gotta put it in consideration that a lot of people who play games aren't smart. If you want to make complex puzzle legs like, like this, make a hard mode, but make one for us plebs who are stupid. Okay. <laughs> Alright, whatever this is, I got it. We got a cylinder puzzle box. A hollow wooden cylinder, it's divided into several ring shim compartments. Huh. There's something inside the box. I can feel it, but the rings are stuck. Oh, that's the same, uh, pattern as this. Okay, a uh, spin disc. What? Oh. Oh, I assume we just have to... Oh. Oh. Uh... Wow, game developers, you really love making me feel stupid, don't you? Ah, oh, boy. Well, this is gonna be another half hour. See you guys later. The thing is, is that I can't even cheat on this one. I literally have to do it on my own. Oh, this is just frustrating. People who made this game really did not take any consideration that some of the people who may be playing this are stupid. Uh-uh. After I solve this puzzle, I'm just going to end the video here, regardless of how long it is, because two frustrating puzzles in one go is just too much for me to handle. Alright, this one has to be it. I'm just, like, triple-checking it. It's gotta be, right? Yes! Finally! Mm -hmm. Oh, gross. What even is this thing? A keychain with two keys and a peculiar omen. That's freaking Cthulhu, it would seem. Uh -huh. Inspect. It's Erica's keychains. The keychain is bulkier than the keys, not to mention interesting. Okay, you know what? Let's get out of this room. Eh. I just want to leave the room, please. Makes me uncomfortable being in here. Okay, and real quick, before I end the episode, what did she say these keys were for again? Uh, Erica's note. No for Erica Fiber. Okay, what are these keys for? I kept the key to the house in the display case. Oh. Okay. Next episode, we're gonna see that house. We're gonna go back to the apartment, and we're gonna see what's behind that door. Because right now I'm a little frustrated and I need to take a breather. Also, I think I've done enough in this episode. I honestly have no idea. I just need a breather. So, if you guys enjoyed what you're watching, hit subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with the story, ring that bell. And thank you all so much for watching. Later.